This here is my Gutenberg editor, and here is the same Gutenberg editor. Do you see the difference? Once again, new version, old version. Well, if you manage to see the differences, then good. If not, then don't worry, because in this video I'm going to show you four cool hacks you can add to your site and improve your WordPress Gutenberg editor. So, let's jump in. But first things first, the code snippets I'm going to use in this video, I'm going to put the link to these in the video description, so you can just use the ones you need. Now, in order to make everything work, there are two options for you. First, you go to the appearance, open up team file editor, find functions PHP file, and add all the code here. I don't recommend this option because in case you switch themes, then you will lose all the modifications. There is also another option, the one I prefer, that is go to the plugins, add new, and search for W code. This one here. Install and activate it, and after that you'll see there is a code snippets menu down below here. Choose add snippet. Next, choose add custom snippet. Choose PHP snippet. And now let's start hacking. First things we're going to do is we're going to add a button to the Gutenberg editor header. So I'm going to give it the title, add new button. Next, I'm going to paste this snippet here. Scroll down, location, choose admin only. Next, select active and save snippet. Now let's go to the posts and let's see what happened here. I'm going to open up the post and you'll see there is an add new post button. This is what the snippet does. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to deactivate it. There is no button here. And if you're using full screen, like I do most of the time, then in order to add a new post, I either have to deactivate the full screen and then click on add new post. Or when using full screen mode, I have to come back here and click on add new post. I'm a lazy person, I like things to be simple, and therefore there is a add new post button here. Just click on it, my full screen view stays the same, and it also works with the pages. For example, if I open up my page, you'll see now there's a button add new page. It also works with custom post types. For example, I have a portfolio here. If I open up one portfolio item, you'll see there is a add new project button here. So this was the first hack. But before I proceed, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, that is Kinsta, one of the top dogs in the managed WordPress hosting world. First, Finsta is the highest rated managed WordPress host on G2 and currently it holds an amazing 4.8 star rating on Trustpilot. Believe me, that's a big deal. Kinsta is a premium service and it's aimed at businesses that need fast, reliable and secure hosting. Currently, they've also got 37 global data centers, which means you can host your site closer to your visitors. And the closer the data center is to your actual location, the faster your site loads. Pretty cool, right? Next, let's talk about the security. And Kinsta got you covered with auto backups. They have 24-7 site monitoring. And they also integrate with Cloudflare for top-notch protection against attacks like DDoS. Plus, they have a global CDN to keep things running smoothly. Here's another fun fact about Kinsta. That is, Kinsta hosts more than 120,000 live websites. And those are from small businesses to huge enterprises. As you see from the screen, it includes also some big names like TripAdvisor, NASA and so on. So, sure, if you're looking for a reliable, fast and secure hosting, then Kinsta might just be what you need. Now let's add another snippet here. Once again, choose Add Custom Snippet, PHP, give it the title, Back to Top button for Gutenberg. Paste the snippet. Once again, choose Admin Only, Activate, Save Snippet. Let's go to the Posts. I'm going to open up this one here. And now what happens? If I scroll down, you'll see there is a Back to Top button down below here. If I click on it, it will scrolls up. So if there are longer posts, then I don't have to scroll with my mouse. I can just click on this button and I will be scrolled to the top again. One small but a nifty feature. This was a hack number two. Now let's go back to the snippets. Add a new snippet. Once again, PHP snippet. Let's give it the title, for example, Word Count Block Navigator. I'm going to paste the snippet. Choose admin only as a location, activate it, save it. Once again, I'm going to open up a post. 
And what this snippet does is that if you click on the paragraph block, it will display you how many words it contains. Let's add some other words and you'll see it dynamically updates your word count. If there are more than 300 words, for example, this block here contains 455 words, then you'll see that the background is a little bit different. This way it's more visual if the paragraphs are too long. Now the question is why would you need it? Well, it's search engine optimization friendly way to add paragraphs that are not too long. Also, it improves readability. There is a one thing I would like to point out, and that is, if you take a look at the line 40, there is a word count. You can change it, for example, if you want to change the tag color, then just add a round number here, for example, 100. Let's refresh it. 44 words, and now you'll see it contains 131 words and the badge color is different. This way you can customize it as you like. One more thing, you can change the backgrounds here. Background for this and background for this. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. These were the three hacks. The fourth hack is a little bit different. First, I'm gonna describe you a problem. So, these are my pages, and the current workflow is that I'm gonna create a page, save it, go back to the dashboard, go to the appearance, open up menus, add the page to the menu, save it, and done. Too many clicks for my liking, therefore, I'm gonna change it in a way that you go to the pages, open up your page, and when it's ready, then, for example, let's add this page to the main menu. I'm going to choose a parent menu, for example, about us. Add to menu. It says it, it's been added and now it's here. When I save it and refresh my page, you'll see it is here. If I need to rearrange it and, for example, drag it here, then I can do it. I can delete it or add it once more, but this time the parent menu is gallery, add to menu, it's here, save it, refresh it, and done. Now, in order to make it work, I made a plugin for you. The link to the plugin is in the video description. Just download this plugin, install it as you like, and done. Now you may ask why it's a plugin and not a simple code snippet. It's because it can't be done with a simple code snippet. As you see, it contains approximately 300 lines of PHP code and there are also approximately 100 lines of JavaScript and some 44 lines of CSS. So it's a bit easier for you to install it as a plugin. After installation, you'll see it here. It's called page to navigation menu adder. And there you go, four simple Gutenberg related hacks that will improve your workflow. These are only some of the hacks I have made a video about. I have also made a video about 24 simple WooCommerce tricks and hacks that will save you a ton of time. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.